Hi, Dave Walker here, your Connect Guru with more cool Connect stuff. If you've ever watched a real master work a crowd, one thing you'll notice is they always get the audience involved. They may ask for a show of hands, or they may do other things to get the audience to participate in the presentation. Online meetings aren't really any different. In fact, because the audience is not with you in the same room, there is even a greater potential for disconnect. So it's important to keep them actively involved in the presentation. For that purpose, Connect gives us some great options to help engage our audience. One very simple tool is the status icon that each participant can add to the attendee list pod. You can change your status icon by using the drop-down menu in the attendee list pod or down here in the bottom left corner of the meeting room. You can use status icons like asking for a show of hands. For example, I might ask, okay, everyone who agrees with me, give me a green check mark. Then each participant can set their own status icon accordingly. Another great feedback tool is the chat pod. Now the normal functionality of the chat pod is pretty straightforward. You can send text messages to everyone in the room, to all presenters, or to specific individuals by making that selection in this drop-down menu. But you can also use the chat pod in a very special way. To illustrate this, I'm going to show you the presenter-only area. This is a part of the meeting room that only presenters and hosts can see. In the presenter-only area, we find the Q&A pod. When we link the Q&A pod to the chat pod, that chat pod can only be used to submit questions. The questions appear down here in the Q&A pod, so presenters and hosts can choose to answer them or even ignore them. One of the most effective tools for keeping people involved is the poll pod. Poll pods give us instant feedback from the people in the meeting room and can be configured as either multiple choice or multiple answer. Connect poll pods have some great features you'll appreciate. For example, you can create multiple poll pods and arrange them in a single layout. So the participants don't see the poll questions until you're ready for them to do so, even though the polls exist in the meeting room before the meeting has even started. By putting different sets of poll pods on different layouts, you can have several points in the course of your presentation where you stop to get feedback from the participants. You can view the polling data by percentage or by the number of people answering the questions, and you can choose to share the results with all the participants in the meeting room by simply clicking this checkbox in the poll pod. Additionally, you can view a list of people who answered the question and see how each one answered by just clicking the individual votes button. Connect gives you other ways to collect data from the participants as well. By using Adobe Presenter or Captivate, you can create slide presentations with quizzes. These quizzes can be uploaded to the share pod where the participants can answer the quiz questions. Quiz questions can have other formats than just multiple choice. They can include short answer questions, fill in the blank questions, matching questions, and Likert or rating scale type questions. The data for both polls and quizzes is sent to the Connect server and stored in a SQL database. And you can review that data by going to the questions report for the meeting room. This report allows you to see the answer distribution for each question, as well as a list of user responses. So even long after your meeting is over, you can view these reports and see how the participants answer the questions. So don't let your participants' attention stray during the meeting. Keep them involved by using polls and quizzes. Now, if your current online meeting solution doesn't do this, you got to ask yourself, why am I not using Connect Pro?